Hello everyone, my name is Grant Ellis and I am the director for the Dracula Dossier campaign here on WebDM. I am also WebDM's uh, Twitch producer and we are in for an interesting uh, prep session tonight. Let me get some music on in the background uh, to help with the prep. So, some interesting things have happened in the campaign. Uh, as the music startles me as it comes on. Um... All right. So, uh, when last we left our intrepid vampire hunting secret agents, um, they journeyed to uh, London and they uh, tried to lay low to try to get some of the heat off of them after they had recovered the fabled Dracula dossier document. And... Um, after they they received the document, um, they decided they wanted to go to the Vatican and seek out uh, the vampire hunters of old and see what they could learn and uncover. Um, while at the Vatican, they uncovered a college. Um, I'll show you because it's in the book. So uh, my players find... Uh, the concept of vampire hunters at the Vatican while reading the Dracula novel. So they have a copy of Bram Stoker's Dracula filled with annotations and uh, the novel spoke of vampire hunters from the Vatican. If you look in the book, there is a section in uh, a third forces chapter called the Vatican. And when you go there, it explains uh, different ways that the Vatican can be used. My players uh, came into contact with the Pontifical College of Romania, and they pressed their luck till they found Father Dodana, who uh, is a leader of a vampire hunting squad. Hello, Arberlin. Good to see you in chat. Um... And it was interesting that uh, we were able to take the party there. Now, by way of mentioning, uh, this campaign uh, is the Dracula Dossier by Pelgrim Press. I'm going to drop some links in the chat. Uh, if you're watching this video on YouTube, check uh, below the video. You should find uh, links out to the materials that we're going to be using this section. Likewise, the Dracula Dossier is a campaign supplement for Knights Black Agents by Pelgrane. Uh, the music that we are listening to is uh, the soundtrack Dust and Mirrors, uh, which is a collection of thematically appropriate music for use in the game. So after visiting the Vatican and learning of the Vampire Hunters, uh, my players now have the opportunity to call upon um, call upon a vampire hunting squad which is interesting what makes it even more interesting to me is uh, this section here where uh, this vampire hunting s squad will eventually get torn to shreds by Dracula uh, thematically um, but they're going to save the day at some point I'm not sure if they'll save the day now uh, we'll see about that. So my players went from the Vatican to Romania. Uh, they uh, investigated a village called uh, Bistritz, I believe. We'll check our prep. We will scroll all the way to the top of the prep. Bistritz, near Castle Dracula. While they were there, they met a variety of people, including... Uh, they met... Osman, Osman Singleton, and they actually participated in a dark vampiric ritual with Osman. They also met uh, Daniela Istok, who is a protester, and those were largely what happened, and then at the climax, they went to an archaeological dig site 
Uh, they learned that the protester is protesting uh, the the digging of a sacred site. Um, there's a front that the company doing the digging is a petroleum company that they are mining the mountains for precious uh, fossil fuels, etc. Uh, but the the reality of the situation is. Uh, that they are, in fact, trying to pull up vampire graves. Uh, our players did, in fact... Uh, they uncovered a uh, a coffin. They found a vampire coffin at that archaeological site. And... Uh, the digging was being performed by uh, Russian Mafia. And members of a group known as Edom who are attempting to control and awaken Dracula and Edom has an unlikely alliance with those allied with the vampires themselves the uh, I believe they are the Rusvari Jigani we'll double check uh, the appropriate names so My players may still end up in uh, last last prep session. We went over personalizing the campaign. This time, uh, I'd like us to to look at aligning the campaign with the thriller skeleton. Hi, Michaela. Good to see you. So the thriller skeleton is a tool used. For pacing Knights Black Agents. We also have some very specific goals that we're going to try to solve. First is we need to get T back to the party. T, uh, played by Lily Sparks, was absent last session, and her character uh, was off investigating other leads and will find her way back to the group. Second, we're going to talk about the Thriller Spine and how we can use our... Uh, Dracula dossier uh, materials, our game master materials to help uh, set scenes because there's about 1200 pages of material, uh, it's a lot and there's a lot of variety I think the thriller skeleton or the spine uh, gives us a good op uh, uh, gives us good guidance on how we might adjust the dials to the campaign uh, likewise uh, we're going to talk about what the Vampyramid is and the Conspyramid is. If you're not familiar with Knights Black Agents, these are uh, terms from the game which um, are the counterweight to the competence and success of your player characters. Lastly, we're going to look at some of our existing leads and align them to the spine. So, let's talk about what's going on. So we're going to drop this there, uh, and we're going to talk about the facts and circumstance. So first things first, um, where could T be coming from? Um, T went in advance. T was scouting leads to Castle Dracula. T infiltrated Operation Edom or the Rosvari Chigani. So the players are in Romania, but that's not the first place they went. The first place they went was Italy. T was not with them, and T did not accompany them to Italy. Uh, we could justify in the fiction that T went ahead and advanced to Romania. Romania has a lot of locations, uh, and it could be that there were other leads that we had listed uh, from our notes last session, uh, last prep session, that T could have gone. So this is probably... You know, this is this is like a C. T happens to be in Romania. Uh, T was scouting leads to Castle Dracula is a B. 
Uh, as we look at the game materials, there's about eight different possible Castle Draculas. You know, we'll show, we'll look at that right here. Uh, so we will pull up the director's handbook. Um, bit to page, scroll up. So we'll go to the table of contents. And uh, as we look at Romania, uh, Romania should lead into Castle Dracula. And in this section of the book, it talks about potential places Castle Dracula could be. Uh, this is a lead that Sharon wanted to investigate. And uh, they give you seven or eight potential Castle Draculas you can use and decide where you want it to go, as well as the fictional positioning of every version of the castle. And... Uh, my players are closest to Castle Braun, which uh, has no connection to Vlad the Impaler, but that's okay because we decided Vlad the Impaler is not the actual Dracula. And uh, our use of uh, Castle Braun is probably going to be a false, false lead. Uh, it's not going to be the actual castle. The actual castle will be elsewhere. Uh, but the game materials have, you know, excellent maps detailing the inside of the castles. Uh, produced by Kobold Press's uh, sister company. Well, there's other, other castles that there could be. So it could be that um, T has located Castle Brown and possibly even a map to get in. Uh, I think the least likely option is that T is there um, as a member of the Rusvari Shigani. Uh, these are very, very... Uh, they're what we call in uh, Portuguese a pau duro, you know, a hard bread. They're, they're tough cookies. You know, they're, they are uh, fierce... Uh, and we decided in our fiction that we were going to imbue them with the supernatural powers that are common in myth, legend, and lore. So that's probably a D. So out of these C, B, and D, T is going to have some leads on getting to Castle Braun. So I think these are these are uh, good ways uh, to get T back. And uh, inserting T into the situation agreed upon rendezvous could have an asset assisting. It's a petroleum company as well. So, these are all decent solutions. When I use the term asset, I'm referring to an NPC in the game. Uh, the Dracula dossier has hundreds of them. Uh, many of them are, you know, they provide cards and artwork and uh, ways to position them. So, that's the first thing. Now, let's talk about the Thriller Spine. The Skeleton. So, the idea behind this spine is essentially a collection I like how when I turn my head uh, my face composites right out <laughs> I need to get some color in my skin um, these are a collection of scene ideas and a philosophy behind story pacing to help hit the right dramatic beats at the most emotionally poignant time. I'm going to walk through the steps. So you begin with the hook. There's an event, problem, or opportunity that attracts the agents. Um, currently, my agents are getting ready to fight 
a Romanian sorceress. Uh, my players poisoned blood with holy water blessed by the Pope, uh, which killed a vampire. <laughs> it was, it's great. So uh, Operation Edom, the bad guys, were digging up a vampire grave. Uh, they managed to get the coffin, and they had a bunch of blood on standby. One of my players snuck into the camp, and they had holy water, because I mentioned earlier they went to the Vatican. They stole the holy water, and they placed it in the blood. So when they fed the blood to the newly awakened vampire, uh, she exploded in divine light. Um, and uh, it was a nice twist and turn of events. Uh, but now my players have a bunch of heat on them because they just killed a vampire. Um, they've stolen a copy of Le Dragon Noir, which is a book. Um, so uh, that's where my players are at. Uh, back to the Thriller Skeleton is the hook. There needs to be an opportunity. So uh, let's write down a couple of opportunities. So let me also get this music turned up a little bit. Which is quite low. Boop. So here are some possible things. So then escaping Edom. Creepy music. Uh Le Dragon Noir. Uh, prompts an idea because they have it they have a copy of it I don't know if it's uh, we haven't quite positioned exactly what we're going to make it uh, the importance of it yet there's better music we can put on from this You'll have to indulge me while I, I flip. Clues from the dissident. Clues from the Usvari Pigani. So these are uh, Wolf Roma. Uh, there are rumors that they are lycanthropes. They can turn into werewolves, things like that. Uh, and currently they're carrying Uzis. Um, and they are not fond of the player characters. Or maybe. We'll see. They could all be traitors. So we're going to have to see where these uh, potentially lead them. So now we're going to branch out... Um, Escaping Edom is kind of not a... Uh, where would they go? Um, they need to be propelled else, elsewhere. So uh, they go to Bucharest, Castle Dracula, um, Munich. Those are three ideas. We'll kind of put them over here. Uh, they could decide to go into the big city. They could try to find and uh, investigate Castle Dracula. They have an idea of that. Um, or they could run off to Munich. Let's take a look at Le Dragon Noir. And decide exactly what it's going to be in our campaign. Because that's the next hook. Wrong book. Dragon Noir. Let's, let's check. So 
So it's mentioned many times in... Uh, so it's a... We'll talk about what it is, and, and there's, there's a picture of it. It's this crumbling folder uh, filled with uh, evil spells and dark magics, including how to turn someone into uh, a vampire. And you just got this image of this uh, black dragon choking itself with its own tail. Um, let's take a look in the uh, in the book. So there's chemi chemistry experiments that they can do on it. They're going to learn that it's composed of human flesh. There's another book known as The Dragon. Uh, 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 there's another book, uh, The Red Dragon, which is related to it. And the idea is it's a book that will allow you to control demons. Um, we haven't quite... Uh, we're pretty sure that the vampires in this are probably actually aliens, maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Um, but what is the difference between a demon and an alien, really? Um, so we haven't decided if it's a major item, a minor item... Or, if it's fraudulent. And then how it can be connected. So, it's probably going to be... Let's compare the major versus the minor. So in the major version, uh, it's a grimoire studied by Dracula at the Scholomance. So it's a very serious uh, uh, text uh, where Dracula studied all dark powers. This is one of the things that were studied by he. Um, it contains the secret origin and creation of vampires. It provides at least one absolute way to destroy a vampire. Uh, the leather it is bound in is that of an unknown reptile, probably a dragon. Uh, studying the grimoire requires knowledge of Latin and French, which my players have in at least occult studies one. Uh, like most grimoires, it's uh, prose. It's not just leaden, but deliberately obscure to the point of opacity. It takes at least a month of reading, ideally unpunctuated by fights with vampires, covert travel, and other distractions to even understand its contents. If study takes place in a dedicated occult library, such as the Warburg Institute in London at the uh, or the one at Ring, the time could be cut by half or even more, so you could reduce the time. That's essentially what the book is telling us here. It's a dense, difficult novel, or it's a dense, difficult text uh, that requires uninterrupted, and at certain places, the players will be able to I reduce one study. The book provides a dedicated pool of five points in vampirology, occult studies, medieval history, demonology, human terrain for black magic cultists, etc. The agent who studies it can completely refresh this pool at the end of an operation with one experience point to indicate spending more time poring over the manuscript. Add or remove whichever spells you think appropriate and evocative. This is the only magic book in the campaign. There might be a spell to duplicate every vampiric ability. Heal by blood, levitation, turn to mist, etc., etc., etc. Uh, the spells are actually psionic rotes intended to interlock human consciousness with a quantum wave fields. Oh, joy. Uh, to produce cascading effects powered by the Earth's magnetic and tectonic energies. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, so essentially, it's a magic text. Uh, it's a powerful magic text. Uh, and letting my players get a hold of something this powerful is both exciting and also terrifying. Uh, because this book once was Dracula's. Uh, he's going to want it back. So the minor item is this book is indeed a 15th century grimoire and incredibly valuable to collectors. It provides immediate uh, entree into any set of vampire-obsessed weirdos, cultists, or similar. Uh, Osmond had this, this copy. This is probably what they're going to have. 
If you have such things in your campaign, yes, we do. Uh, Dracula has a sentimental or superstitious attachment and will kill or trade to possess it. Possess it. Interesting. It's bound in human skin. It cannot be used to cast spells, at, at least not as a human. Alternately, the only spell that works for humans in it is become vampire. Yeah, that's what it's going to have. So it's a much weaker book. So this isn't going... Um, I lean towards this being the more dramatic version. And the main reason I lead towards it being the more dramatic version is it will cause a, uh, a, a much larger pushback. So let's go back to our, our prep. is in fact the very book Dracula studied at Skolomance. Now the question is why would Osman have it? We're going to have to figure that out. Could be Osman was returning it to Dracula and stopped in Brist uh, uh It could be yeah Osman could end up dead. Could be Dracula kills Osman for failing. Which will cause a whole bunch of problems. Uh, because Osman is the leader of a cult back in London. Uh, using it has dire consequences. Uh, the dissident uh, point to the Edom influenced Petro company. So they're they're, they're probably going to poke back at Daniela Istock. Her name here. And uh, let's sort of so this it's all going to depend on which route my, my my players go. They might just try to get out of there. And when they do, they are going to look at something. They're either going to investigate Le Dragon Noir. Uh, they're going to try to get back to Daniela. Or they're going to try to hobnob with uh, uh, the Mafia. Which is fine. Let's take a look at uh, the Rusvari. Jagani. Ruvari Jagani. So, yeah, let me correct the name. They're Wolframa. So, uh, they're powerful Roman clan. Car theft rings. Secretive, self-contained people. They're actually allied in the conspiracy. So they can be used to find Castle Dracula. They're going to be connected to Romanian mafia. I'm going to I'm going to kind of copy uh, some of this stuff.
they could, they can, so they can introduce, if my players go after them, they can introduce an NPC, either the arms runner, drug box, or smuggler. Or maybe even the human rights activist will say, we'll see. So... It could be T has some sympathetic. Um, I would let T maybe spend some network to uh, have made inroads with uh, the mafia. So next, um, there's going to be the curtain. So. This is a very open campaign. My players can go a bunch of different ways. My suspicion is they are going to uh, eventually go every which way. Uh, if I had to take a guess, though, they're going to want to... Um, they're going to want to get, get the heat off of them. So, I think they're going to go back to uh, the capital. And so, let's, let's take a look. So, there's a lot of, of nodes in Romania. Nodes being organizations. The National Institute for Earth's Forensics could be introduced. Eat in the conspiracy. How omnipresent is the conspiracy in Romania unless you've already planted a minion in the location? We did. <laughs> on a six, there's a conspiracy minion on the scene. So yeah, there's a very, very good chance that there are conspiracy minions everywhere. Um, some possible clues might... They might go the science route, so I'm going to write this down. I'm going to make an adjustment to this intense music. But we don't want to go too far in this. Uh, we want to... Um, we have an idea, and we're going to talk about uh, the conspiramid and the vampiramid and how they're going to relate to this uh, because uh, every adventure will probably follow narrow, wide, narrow. We'll start very focused. Right now we're in a firefight against uh, members of Dracula's conspiracy. Uh, they've just woken up a vampire that we assassinated and uh, we're going to be duking it out with them uh, like the Dickens. Uh, <laughs> and then we are going to have to uh, figure out where to go next. And so it's it's impossible to prepare for everything uh, and be piffy and on the fly, but I think it's important to sort of talk about uh, how the, the different scenes might play out. Uh, so we know that they're going to check out a hook based on their suspicions. We know that they're going to end up either going after Castle Dracula uh, and I know this because they've mentioned it to me. They have a shared Google Doc that they've uh, presented to me. So I think they'll either run to the capital if they're dealing with the mafia. Or put... I'm just going to outline a couple of different things. And then... Um... 
if the Petro company reveals it. It could always be a Mafia lead to be taken to Castle Dracula. Most likely a fake one. And they probably have a fake one that they lead people to, particularly people that are investigating the conspiracy and execute them at. Because that's the way they do. But we're going to want a core clue. Something that's going to propel them further and deeper. Um, the interesting thing with the, this game is they already have the dossier, so they have many clues. Uh, the core clue they found last time was uh, Le Dragon Noir. Uh, this time... I think uh, the core clues... It's either going to be a contact... Or it's going to be, uh, they're going to uh, get a lead onto the real location of Castle Dracula. Let's take a look at the city, though. So we'll come back to the handbook. We're going to drop to our table of contents. Take a look at the capital. This is a nice map where everything is uh, geographically from e each other. So uh, my player started in Bistrita, and they're in uh, Cluj Napoca right now. This is, you know, the level of detail that is offered. You know, very good map. They were up here, and then they went down and found the archaeological site. Uh, they could go to the complete other side of the con uh, country to try to get some heat off of them. Two C six. H two o two. They could come to the city. The city would have uh, a variety of clues. Let's take a look at it, though. Dracula eyes are everywhere in Romania, and he has more than eyes looking out for his interests. So there's a an adventure called Looking Glass, which has some information. There's also on page 173 of Knights Black Agents, they have a pretty dirty description of it. Um, Let's see what uh, what else is given to us here. We'll check page uh, 173 of this book. This is the city of vampires. All right. Let's not search for anything there. So this is the capital. Used to be called the Paris of the Balkans. It's slightly larger than Philadelphia. We can use uh, some of this information here. We'll grab, rather than grab uh, some hooks, we're going to grab uh, a couple of backdrops. In fact, we're just going to type in. What 
what I would do in this situation is I'm going to add drop an NPC. And um, it needs to be someone uh, who they have uh, could have run into, but they didn't yet. Probably uh, the medievalist. So I think the medievalist is most likely going to be uh, who they would meet. Truth behind Dragon Noir. Location of Castle Dracula or uh, the lyric knowledge, essentially earth and en energy currents will probably be the next one. Uh, so the wake up. This is where we're going to talk about uh, the Vam Pyramid and the Cons Pyramid. So, uh, in the game, uh, Knights Black Agents, you have a concept of a Vam Pyramid. Da -da 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 -da. Go to the next one. So, uh, essentially, it's a dramatic response algorithm uh, for the vampires. And essentially, it gives you uh, some hints as to what the vampires are going to do in response based on what uh, the players have done. And these are some ideas. Um, essentially, you have a conspiramid, which is the entire conspiracy. There's, um, we have a sample one in this book cons pyramid we'll go first sample cons pyramid so and you notice it has a, a bunch so the Ruvari Jagani in the Romanian Mafia is kind of what my players are messing with now uh, they've caused a bunch of problems in Bistrita and uh, they've messed uh, with, with several of Dracula's gangs we're at the point where uh, Dracula is going to want to push back uh, the sample here would be that Dracula is going to probably put a a double agent in there. He's going to start haunting agents. Um, they're going to start picking picking on the agents. Uh, they've already spied on the agents, and let's see if we can see uh, the Vam Pyramid as well. Like Dracula has Dracula's Vam Pyramid, which would be messing with safety, finding one of their solaces, attempting to kill an agent, or causing a massacre. Um, something here, like you could find out that our, our, uh, our friends at the Vatican were preparing to go out and got killed. We could introduce a double agent, introduce a vampiric servant, and then they explain in detail what some of these are. But essentially, uh, now is the time for uh, my my uh, for Dracula to essentially push back on the players and to push back hard. So. Let's look at this. Dracula is going to hit back. 
let's read what the book says about Rose. So essentially, based on where where the players are at, uh, they haven't been mean to uh, the Rusvari Jigani. They were mean to Osmond, who is a member of the conspiracy, and they stole the Dragon Noir. So, still pretty early. Let's see what this says. Uh... So some of the things that uh, can happen at this point. So uh, Dracula is going to plant a double agent. So someone that they trust is going to be brought in to be a, a double agent or an Eden triple agent. Uh, they can introduce a Hopkins. Um, uh, my players have used networks before. So uh, we can add... Uh, there, are, there are multiple people in the current scene that are members of the agent's networks and they can uh, essentially uh, turn coat. I don't think Dracula is going to offer send an asset to flip one of the players just yet. Burn and freeze. Dracula selects one agent to be openly burned by Edom and frozen out of her contacts. For that agent only, the heat in Britain increases by three. Wow. Yeah, that's probably going to be one uh, Jisoo is who they would go after. They were warned that eyes were on them, yeah. So, interesting to note about that vampire that they destroyed. It might be seen as a good thing in Dracula's eyes that that vampire was destroyed because Dracula doesn't want a bunch of other vampires. Dracula is uh, wants to be the only vampire because other vampires are a threat to power. But! That could have been someone important to him. Dracula can screw with their intelligence. Yeah, I think Dracula is going to send them to the wrong place. Now... Yeah, it very well could have been one of his uh, brides. Could have been a child. Um, I think it's still a little early in the campaign to have uh, a solace. Dracula, Dracula destroys as many of the agents' places of safety... Dracula destroys a solace. Ooh. Yeah, Dracula is going to convert one of the solaces. I don't think he's going to be able to kill an agent just yet. Yeah, this is a pretty intense one. Dracula kills a lot of innocent civilians and leaves the agents' names painted in blood on the walls. Connects the agents to the atrocity. That's one way to do it. So... I'm going to put a couple ideas. And here's where the skeleton comes in handy, too. I can adjust these as I need. So Dracula's going to hit back. So we're either going to turn a safety. These are options. Turn a safety. Um, associate agents with death of innocence. Like, think about Marrakesh. They were in Marrakesh. Uh, it could be Olivia Lou dies. It could be that Dracula has flipped Olivia. 
he finds her, flips her. Uh, she wants to meet with the uh, uh, agents, and she's now working for Dracula. So we'll decide just one of that. And so this is about as far as we're going. And then one line of inquiry goes cold, cold or dead. We'll probably skip that because it's a stream game and I don't want them to hit too many uh, dead ends. And then the, based on however they do this, either in dealing with their safety, um, clearing the heat from the innocents, uh, Death of the Innocents or their network infiltration, they will get a reveal as to what is actually going on. Like, they'll learn that it's actually Dracula, Dracula messing with them. And then Blowback is going to be a big fight. Uh, now, let's see what uh, it recommended that Edom would take an action. So... These are different people. Targeted earthquake. Uh, what they would do is they would burn the agent. And let's read what that means in game terms. They've already tried to intimidate them with Jax. That's what they're doing right now. So let's see uh, the burning an agent. Edom drops five or more heat on an agent by circulating proof that she is a terrorist mastermind. They have the ability to do this to Jisoo right now. Uh, they have decided not to. Uh, but they haven't yet. So Edom... Um, There's an earthquake machine. Hmm. So, I think this is, I think, um, okay. all right, so let's, let's take a look back at this. So... It's all going to depend on what my players choose. And that's sort of the delicate balance that we have going on here. Uh, but you notice we're, we're able to adjust these things. So uh, this dissident, this Daniela Istok character, um, who will pull up so you can see. I mentioned her because she is someone that uh, my players want to mess with. Uh, interact with and there she is uh, she's being framed this way as providing a lead and benign based off of where she's been introduced uh, however if it's necessary to flip her we could flip her into a minion or a member of Edom uh, at any point and you know it'll be dramatic when that happens maybe the maybe you know, she gets in good with the characters and then uh, commits an act of terror and associates uh, her name her name with it. Um, so that is sort of the general uh, prep. 
We can keep going through this and, and kind of look at and talk through the rest of the skeleton. So there's going to be blowback as consequences of the investigation. Um, whatever the uh, assumptions my players have, though, we should provide a twist. You know, they, they're going in one direction. Uh, they were investigating the dig site, and they weren't expecting to find uh, an actual vampire coffin. Not only that, they weren't expecting to uh, find a copy of Le Dragon Noir in the uh, cult leader's possession. You know, it's, it's, it's actual an actual powerful thing. Uh, and so we can think about the twists, and it's going to be generated. It's going to be related towards um, the information they get out of the dossier. And almost everything, you know, it comes back to the core question. I think that's something we should remind ourselves in this prep. The core question is, why has Edom started working with Dracula again, and why are they trying to control Dracula? We know that Dracula is awake and doing things and is about to hit back. Uh, Edom has the ability to set off earthquakes wherever they want. Uh, Dracula was being used in the War on Terror, but Dracula may in fact cause uh, much greater terror. So I need to find someone that could help them. Which might be the return of Olivia Liu. It might be a double agent from Edom. My players are currently in a confrontation, and that confrontation is going to propel everything forward. So, what we're looking at here next is essentially... Um, Let's write down a list of some of the potential clues that they're going to get out of this. Learn about uh, Castle Dracula. Learn about Skolomance. And let's take a look at that. It's essentially the Devil's School. Ugh. Sorry. Hit the wrong hotkeys. So it's a cave where the devil holds his school. So they can find it through looking at uh, Le Dragon Noir. Concealed. Scolomance and the Desolate. Scolomance. They are in the Carpathian Mountains. But we have to... Alright, catch you later, friend. Adios. Uh, for those of you interested in a discount on the game, we've got vouchers. 20% off all Knights Black Agents projects uh, associated with the Dracula dossier, which includes all the core material of the game. But I have to decide, and this is sort of... Uh, <laughs> Sorry, yeah, they make reference to the World of Warcraft. So, back to the spine. Um, you notice how they have, like, the stall? It could be, if I wanted to stall them and it was time to cool it down, they go to investigate the Skolomance, and when they get there, it's cool. Just like if they go to investigate Castle Dracula, and we want to slow it down, we can have them go to a false Castle Dracula. But the interesting thing there is, if they end up at a false Castle Dracula, you want to start turning it up again. So maybe the castle is false, but there's an NPC there who's useful. 
like the medievalist who has a lot of information, might be able to get access to a museum, and that museum might have uh, an actual vampire coffin in it. So there's a chance. That this resort city. Is possibly connected to the. Skullomance. I think I would use a desolate place. Because we're currently in the mountains. So let's take a look. If my players follow the, um, uh, essentially, it's either closed, Tartarus, ancient hell of torture, and, uh, giant monsters. Or it can be warm. So let's take a look at my potential clues. Uh, they already have uh, the lead of uh, the dead house. We're not going to cover uh, the dead house here because uh, we covered it in uh, the previous prep session. But let's let's take a look at Castle Bran and the Scolomance. What we're looking at here is we're looking uh, for details that might be useful here. So we're we're gonna copy copy this. It'd probably be more fun for my players for it to be in the resort one. So that's what I'm figuring out right now. Um, but they've been in a lot of cities. It might be good to get them into a very far away remote spot. So, let's copy this over. Hey, Norm. Thank you for the subscription. Whoop. We'll have another clue, which will lead. We'll look back at Castle Dracula. Kidnap the Dracula. Throw him in a sack. Uh, Castle Dracula. Finding Castle Dracula. So, we've talked about it being... We'll 
I'll grab this. And alas! Um... These are uh, two leads where uh, we'll set this up. Learn about Castle Dracula, learn about the Skullomance. Uh, let me double check uh, my players to see uh, if they had anything else they wanted to do. Um, I think they're going to look into the oil company. So uh, let me double check the petroleum exec executive. On page 127. What's 151? Yeah. The National Institute for Earth Physics. So, this is great. Uh, this is exactly what we need. So, oh, very nice. Good to hear that, Norm. Uh, for those of you watching on YouTube and can't see the chat, um, Yes, last episode we had a Romanian mission, and uh, Norm in chat uh, has a Romanian wife and asked her a bunch of questions about uh, Romania. So, I, 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 I. so these are leads. So the Romanian government under the Ministry of uh, Education funds this National Institute for Earth Physics. And this is what would allow them to zero in on Castle Dracula. So that's probably going to lead, be the lead. Um, and... Um, I think if they go the other route, like if they go to Castle... I think if they go to Castle Bran, it's fake Castle Dracula. And if they uh, end up going to the NIEP, they're going to see that there's various Castle Draculas. <laughs> and then they're going to learn that there's an actual one that they're zeroing in on. And it's okay if they, they find it early. Like, even though this is going to be a very long campaign, uh, we can talk about various ways to pace it. Because Dracula is undead and on the move. They just need to get to the bottom and figure out why. And I think that's going to be one of our next moves as well. Figuring out why. So let's take a look at who's running this NIEP. Uh, we talked about Elvis in the last prep session. Dr. Miriam Sala is the daughter of the former Eden operative. Uh, David Sala was dispatched to uh, Romania. They are Duke of Eden. Codename Magdil. And knows about the Dracula dossier. Miriam Sala hit all the notes. Knows about Edom and Dracula. Um, I don't know if she's going to be conspiracy. Maybe she could be flipped.
There's other people that they could meet there, like the volcanologist, the seismologist. Or the petroleum executive. So, here's kind of our lead. Here's kind of our core clue. And I think now that we've uh, read, let's kind of revise our prep a little. So... I think the core clue is actually going to be uh, the location of the National Institute of Earth Physics, which in turn would point towards the Scolomance, Castle Dracula, etc. Let's take a look at the seismologist and the volcanologist. So the seismologist is on Edwin Bullard. Yeah, he, he, <laughs> he looks uh, like he's having having a time. And now let's look at the volcanologist. 136. The protege. Francesca Collins. Oh, she's great. So... Let's add... a couple of things. A couple of notes. Miriam Sala uh, in the seismologist. And they can find this. So they can get this core clue by digging into the petroleum company. I'm going to put fake Castle Dracula. which should have other leads out. Um, and I think I'm going to drop the city because I don't think it's strong. I think there should only be one mafia lead. Um, and I think uh, NIEP leads to the real uh, Castle Dracula, but fake Castle Dracula... may lead to scolomance. Uh so there will there will be some some lead out of it. So this is sort of our initial prep, but then we need to sort of figure out how how they're going to get hit hard. So what's going to be the danger? Uh my players need to they're either going to have a big, dramatic, scary thing at Scolomance, a big, scary thing at Castle Dracula, or they're going to get the heck out of there. Um, reading the dossier would introduce new things to them, or they might end up at the Dead House. So I, th I think here's our, our big climaxes. So let's see what we have going on. Confrontation at Scolomance, like targeted by an earthquake. That's something Edom would do. They would use an earthquake machine. They would find the PCs and then they would hit them with it, even if it's at a, a site like Scolomance. Um, 
confrontation with uh, a Duke of Edom, like Elvis, and then um, an IEP. Confrontation with Orlock or similar. And Orlock is the weird Nosferatu like vampire. Um, so, um, confrontation with Devil Agent. It might be that Olivia Lou's been turned into a vampire bride. I don't necessarily want to flip her yet. We'll see. It'll all depend on where my players go and how it builds up. Because it's one of those things. You don't have to make Olivia Lou a vampire. Uh, you just need to know that you could flip that switch uh, when it's uh, appropriate. So that is our uh, prep for uh, the next coming session. There's a, there's a few things I'm going to do here. And I, I want to talk about some of our initial goals um, and talk about it. So... The first thing we need to do is figure out how we're going to get T back to the party. And T is uh, probably going to be hidden on site or coming from one of the potential leads. The potential lead should probably be information on NIEP um, or elsewhere in the world. We can take something that they have, uh, something they found, and point them off in that direction. Uh, the next thing we did is we want to talk about our spine, which is this is the thread of ideas. Um, the conspiracy is going to go deeper. Uh, the players are going to learn about uh, the uh, the connection between earthquakes and vampirism. Um, earthquakes being used to wake awaken vampires. If you remember our session two, we talked about uh, earthquakes being used to wake up vampires through uh, Edom's Edom's use, uh, or rather. Every time a vampire would appear, it was connected to an earthquake. Um, and apparently, Edom has an earthquake machine. Uh, there is a conspiramid and a vampiramid. Uh, there are these different levels from local to highest up. Uh, Dracula himself to just the street gangs uh, with uh, Romanian mafia, government agencies, etc. All along this uh, that are serving the shadow... Uh, shadow side of, of, of the vampires you know the shadow state and then there is the vampire uh, when the players mess with different levels of that conspiramid the vampiramid will punch back and at this point Dracula is ready to hit the players hard um, and that's coming that is coming soon and then uh, when and how that uh, punch back happens Ties to our thriller skeleton. Where are we at cinematically? Right now, we are in a big confrontation. We are fighting a Ruvari uh, sorceress. And there are going to be clues that come out of that. And uh, the players will take those clues and continue to follow other bits of the conspiracy. Because they don't quite know why Dracula's back and what Dracula's actually up to. But they do know that they will probably have to kill him. Uh, so some of the things that we'll probably see in this next coming session is the players will find the National Institute of Earth Physics uh, or a fake Castle Dracula. They might end up at an actual Castle Dracula or uh, the Scholomance, which is the devil's school that Dracula studied at. Be it the actual devil or not, we don't know. Um, there are flavors of the game where it is. There's flavors where it's not. Then... Um, Dracula is going to do something horrible, turning a safety, um, a solace, destroy a safety, so destroy a location that is uh, pertinent to the players, or uh, take someone, you know, the person they trust, the one person they can talk to, and converting them to something else. Or Dracula is going to burn uh, all their connections. What they'd real, what Dracula would really like to do though, is slaughter a bunch of innocents and paste, you know, draw in blood at the scene of the crime the agents' names and get all the heat on them to where they cannot go back to certain cities. 
Uh, I think an excellent target for that would be the Vatican, to kill a bunch of priests uh, and to paint their names on the walls. I mean, that's horrible, you know. Uh, sacrilegious, it's it's desecrating. Um, but Dracula is not one to be trifled with. And this is going to come up soon, where I think the first reveal will happen in IEP or Scholomance. And so this is our prep for the third session of the Dracula dossier. Whether we get to all this stuff or not, it who knows? You know, we'll see when we play. I know that doesn't sound very confident, but it's a collaborative campaign. We as the director uh, have to be uh, willing to listen to our players. And uh, our players are going to be bringing a variety of ideas to us. Uh, they are actively reading uh, Dracula Unredacted and coming up with clues and leads of their own. Uh, this week, they were slower on the leads, uh, so they're exploring some of the ones that they already have that they haven't gotten to yet. So, I'm going to drop some links in chat. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, we are playing Night's Black Agents, which is a vampire spy thriller game. That's Elvis, Duke of Edom. Within Night's Black Agents, we are playing the Dracula dossier a highly collaborative campaign. Uh, you can check it out again, dropping another link. The music you are listening to is Dustin Mears, which is a soundtrack for the game. And there is also, as you see in chat, a, uh, a code for a voucher. Um, and that voucher will get you 20% all, uh, off all products for Nice Black Agents. Uh, join me on Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern when we continue and we're going to start off at a dramatic confrontation between the uh, Ruvari Jigani and the players face to face head on uh, and watch how we drop clues so until then see you au revoir